Hi there, <laughs> Jennifer Elizabeth Masters here, and today is the second to last day of the Mercury retrograde, and it will end uh, sometime on the 19th, and we'll be absolutely clear of it two weeks later. And here's the deal about Mercury retrograde. And oh, by the way, just to review, because that is what a Mercury retrograde is good for, I am going to review with you the best practices of a Mercury retrograde and how I can help you use them for your best and empowered purposes. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Thanks so much for joining me. I am all prepared to clean out my storage unit now. This is not a fun job for me. I have been procrastinating for months about this. Uh, but what I want to talk to you about is a Mercury retrograde is something that can happen three to four times a year. And people tend to get their panties in a twist about it. Oh my God, a Mercury retrograde. But things are not meant to hurt or harm you. It was set up by the universe for a reason and a purpose. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the best ways to use a Mercury retrograde for you. And here we go, you ready? So you want to use this time to plan. Plan what you'd like to do going into the new year. Plan what you'd like to do after Mercury retrograde ends on the 20th. You might want to review maybe review your finances, review what you've done in the past, review how you've worked with your clients, review your relationships. You might want to renew, go around your orchard and cut back your trees or prune your shrubs. It's a really good time for that. It's a good time to reorganize. It's a great time to release. Now, releasing can be used <laughs> to release emotions. So maybe, you know, you've been upset for a long time, but you haven't had a good cry. So rent a movie that will help you to release those trapped emotions or go to a batting cage, release those emotions at the batting cage, hitting some balls. Um, now for me, I have got a storage unit that is loaded with stuff that I haven't used much of in the past year. And so I am looking at it as, okay, so if I haven't used it in a year, do I still need it? So I'm going to look at those things and I may be giving a lot of it away. I don't know, but I am going to reorganize label so that I know where things are <laughs> because I've got winter stuff. When I go visit my kids in Colorado, I have to pull out things, boots and, and, and coats and stuff that I don't wear in California. So having things organized and in a really <laughs> methodically planned stage so that maybe winter clothes come out and are near the front and summer stuff can go to the back things that I don't use on a regular basis can go back further. Okay, so releasing, it's a great time to release. It's a great time to, to plan. It's a really good time uh, to review. Release, recycle, review, reorganize, all those R's. It is not a good time to be buying a refrigerator, a freezer, a car, a microwave, a not so much microwave, but car, a computer, a cell phone. Wait another couple of days until Thursday or later and you'll have less trouble with it. That is the thing is oftentimes when we buy luxury items during a Mercury retrograde, what happens is after Mercury turns direct, we go, oh geez, I paid too much for this. I should have waited to Black Friday or some other sale. So we often feel like we didn't get our money's worth when we spend it on an expensive item during the Mercury retrograde. I'm not saying you can't do it, but that is the downside. So the best thing to do is uh, <laughs> clean out your cupboards, reorganize, pull, pull out all your summer stuff, make sure it's all clean and washed and put it away because here we are 
it's almost the end of November. So this is a good time to reorganize or restructure. So I will check back with you when this mess has been cleaned out and is in much better order. And I'll let you see what it looks like after I've had a day to process and release. So I hope that you will use this last couple of days of Mercury retrograde to do whatever it is, uh, shredding old things that you don't need, um, reorganizing all your stuff for taxes so you'll be ready when April hits or, or January the 31st hits when you have all your documents. So the Mercury retrograde is not a bad thing at all. It is a great time when you know how to use it to the best of your ability. And, and that's the way the universe was set up. There are, there are times, times to <laughs> renew. <laughs> this is the time to renew, release, and reorganize. So I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, share it with a friend. Thank you so much. And you can check out my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com. We've got some new things coming on, on board. I'm very excited about, so I'll be talking about that in a little bit. But thanks so much for watching and happy Mercury Retrograde.